Hi there my friends! So today I have another unboxing video for you. You know that saying, when it rains it pours? Well, it's kind of what sort of has happened here. I never quite thought that this was how my venture into Louis Vuitton was going to start. Never in a million years did I think I was going to have two pieces in practically one week. Um, but, like I said, it kind of rained and it poured and I'm really, really happy so it was a good thing. Um, so, funny story, sort of. I'll give you a little bit of what happened. Um, so in my last video I had showed you the unboxing of my wonderful uh, Sarah wallet um, in the Multicolor Noir and um, my husband had got that for me for my anniversary and being that it was discontinued you know we just kind of went ahead purchased it before they um, had all run out of it um, and when I had called I had called um, in the evening one night and the lady had said to me she was very nice she said well we've got six left in Canada um, she said you know I'll put in the request and basically kind of we'll see what happens type thing um, so then, you know, went to bed that night, you know, I was excited because I was pretty sure or was hoping that I would be getting the wallet. And uh, I don't know, I woke up and it was about 6.15 in the morning. And for whatever reason, I don't know, I just, I couldn't sleep. I was, I guess, maybe kind of feeling excited that hopefully I was going to hear today about the wallet and, and whatnot. Anyway, so I was just kind of laying in bed. My husband had long since got up. He's so used to getting up uh, super early in the morning to drive to work every day. He's got a bit of a commute every day. So he'd long gotten up and I was just kind of lazing in bed for a bit. I was checking out my email. And all of a sudden, I noticed this. I had an email from Fashion File, and it was alert to um, um, a purse that I had been looking for. And I thought, oh, you know, what is it? Because I put it in a couple of alerts. Just, you know, there's like lots of things I've been interested in and that I love and everything like that. And I just kind of put the alerts on and, and, you know, not anything comes out of any of them, obviously, being that this is my first time that I've gotten Louis. Um, but just, you know... Anyway, so the alert came up for this um, particular bag and the best part about it was it said that the condition of it was new and I was just just ecstatic and uh, so I ran downstairs and I told my husband and he's like well what are you waiting for like let's you do it you've been saving for this for ages you have loved this bag for so long um, when this bag first came out Louis wasn't Louis was on my radar I knew about it I love the bags but it wasn't something that I really felt at that point in my life was feasible or anything like that um, but you know like I said I've loved this bag for a really long time I had wanted it to kind of be my first Louis Vuitton bag but I didn't know if that was was ever going to happen. Like I said, the alert came up. He's like, let's do it. Go for it. And so I shakingly, I was shaking as I was using, I was doing this on my tablet, um, hit the, you know, put in cart bag and filled out all my information and it was done. And it was like, oh my goodness. So anyway, today it has arrived. Um, there's a bit of a story with that too. It had to get clearance um, to get, you know, from the States to Canada. Um, you know, had a bunch of calls back and forth about who was going to be brokerage fees, you know, all of that, yada, yada. Lo and behold, uh, there was a really guy, a nice guy at FedEx. His name was Johnny. He helped my husband and I out extremely because um, the bag was still stuck down in Mississauga, which isn't where we live or anything like that. And Johnny helped us out and my husband was able to pick it up in Mississauga for me tonight. Um, so I didn't have to wait till tomorrow for delivery because like I said, I was so excited to see this bag. So literally my husband has just gotten home. It is about 8.30, 9 o'clock now at night. Um, and I'm just dying to get into this box, but I wanted to do the reveal with you. Um, so here we go. All I have done so far is uh, just slip the box. And that's it. I haven't even opened up the flap, so I have no idea how this is packaged inside anything. Could get a little noisy here for a second, who knows, but let's get to this. So, oh, there we go, fashion file. Oh, I didn't even do a great job here completely on <laughs> breaking the seal. There we go. Pretty large box, as you can see. There we go. Oh, they have a nice... Uh, Thank you card on top. We hope you love your purchase. Um, yeah, exciting. Got lots of uh, whoo, pretty streamers and everything. Looks like it's a party in here. Kind of almost is for me. Um, that's how I feel anyways with my excitement and everything. Um, I've got another little card in here. Let's uh, see. 
sorry if I don't show everything to you guys correctly as I should. I'm just, like I said, so excited. Oh, it's my, um, sort of buying a fashion file certified items information, uh, my receipt, and just some other information for them. So, all good. I'll just put that off to the side. Uh, got it packaged very nicely here. All right, let's see if I can get this box out of the way without <laughs> knocking over the camera. Right. So, with all that noise, here we go. It did come with a box, so that was exciting. Um, let's see. Open it up at the top here. Well, they don't have it in the dust bag, although I think it's supposed to come with one. So, let's see. I will find the dust bag here first. Yep, it's just at the bottom here. So, we have quite a large dust bag on here. It just has, well, it's just their tag and whatever. So anyways, there is the dust bag. It says Louis Vuitton. And inside is the wonderful, beautiful bag. Oh, I'm so excited. It looks beautiful. Here it is. Oh my goodness. I, oh, wow. Oh, that was worth the wait. Although it was only about a week, so it wasn't like I had to wait that long for it to arrive, but oh my goodness, it is just beautiful. This is the Louis Vuitton, the um, limited edition 2008 runway watercolor Speedy 35. Oh, I just love it. Everything looks just so beautiful on it. They said, like I said, they did say that it was in um, new condition, um, which I have to be honest, being that it was from 2008, I'm not sure how anybody could have stood just to have this in their closet. I mean, to me, it, it has, you know, the beautiful monogram print and everything, um, but to me, this is just, it's a beautiful work of art, and I just can't believe that you could have just left it sitting in the closet or something. Maybe they had it in um, a really nice um, display case or something and they had it on display because to me this is, like I said, it's just a beautiful work of art. This was a collaboration between uh, Marc Jacobs and Richard Print, Prince, sorry, and uh, I guess, you know, he's known for his art and everything and this is just kind of his take on a watercolor and that's exactly to me what it looks like. It just has um, it's just so, just so beautiful. Oh, I just can't get over it. Um, oh, there is the made in, let's see here. I don't know if we're going to be able to maybe a little closer. The Louis Vuitton made in stamp. It is indeed made in France. Um, and like I said, this is the Speedy 35. Um, I know I think for some people that that might be, um, a rather large, um, bag, but, um, I myself don't mind carrying a larger bag. I'm, uh, I feel quite comfortable carrying a larger bag and a lot of times I have, you know, lots of stuff that I like to put in it and everything like that. Um, so I think for myself, this is a, a good bag to start, um, start with and I think I'll be okay with it. Uh, inside we've got the, there is um, the lock for it. Uh, it does look like maybe the lock needs a little bit of cleaning, but other than that, um, you know what, that's an easy fix. Um, and you've got the pull and everything like that here. Oh, I'm just so excited. Oh, I've got a little bit of, um, let's see here. I want to take it out carefully. Big shaping, you know, to hold its shape and everything like that. The interior is just uh, beautiful. I think those, let's see, you've got a little box here. I'm assuming that's 
possibly, yep, yeah, the keys. So I will just put that off to the side. So inside it's just, you know, kind of a white cream um, interior. The interior of it is, it is, it's pristine. There is, you know, absolutely no marks, no nothing. Um, so I definitely would say that this was indeed um, a new bag. It does have um, the Louis Vuitton, the little booklet um, with it. I don't know if we can see that or not. I think that's good. Let's put that off to the side. There is um, a little pocket here on the inside. It does have, um, oh I can't think of what the word is for that, but it does have kind of like a smooth um, lining inside the pocket, different than the uh, material on the inside. Um, I don't know if that is waterproof or not. I wouldn't quite go that far, nor would I necessarily want to put water in my beautiful bag or anything like that, but I guess just in case, maybe a lipstick or something, and oh dear, if the cap fell off, wouldn't that be horrible? But you know, just in case. And then there is um, the little D-ring there inside, so. All right, so that was the D-ring, and then, uh, oh, there it is. Right in here, I don't know if you're gonna be able to, let's see, see it or not. Uh, you can see there's the little um, Vachetta, the, um, the date code. So there's that, so that's exciting. Um, yeah, so I don't know, I can stand up here and kind of try to Alright, there, I'll stand up here. I don't, you're not going to get a very, hmm, let's see if I can move back here a little bit. That's kind of, it is, like I said, it is a, a very big bag. I know, you know, there's smaller sizes um, for the Speedy. I think this bag did come in um, a size 30 as well. Um, but they were definitely um, harder to come by. They, I think they had originally just released them in uh, Asia, I want to say, and Hawaii. Um, so they weren't as widely as available, but um, widely available. Um, but anyways, like I said, I'm pretty comfortable with this. This isn't, I know for some people it might be too big, but it definitely isn't um, too big for me. I am used to carrying um, a bit bigger bags, you know, go big, go home, whatever, something like that. <laughs> anyway, yeah, there isn't anything, you know, there's no pockets or anything. It is a speedy, so, um, you know, that's what it is. Um, I do um, have a uh, purse organizer. Never really quite thought I'd be one of the ones that, you know, would say that. I always, you know, you remember seeing those t commercials on TV for the purse organizer, and I thought, well, those are kind of hokey or whatever, but I have to say, I did go ahead and I did order one for the bag so hopefully it shall be coming soon if you want to see um, that or you know learn more about that or anything just let me know or if you want to see a video on that just let me know in the comment section and I would be more than happy to do a video on that but I just thought you know with the cream white colored interior here and everything I just thought you know what I don't want it to get dirty um, and I thought it would kind of help keep its shape um, I kind of like the speedy with its um, you know, when you see pictures and stuff of people carrying their speedies, I do like to um, kind of see it with its shape. I don't mind the saggy look or anything like that, and I very well may sometimes wear the saggy look or anything. I don't know if, um, when you know you kind of carry it like that, whether it does kind of stretch it out of shape or whatnot, so I kind of didn't want that to happen. Um, so, like I said, I thought I'd get that to help keep its shape and just to help keep the interior of the bag uh, cleaner and everything like that. So I'm going to show you my two pieces, my two new pieces, um, together. They are going to look probably... A little clashy maybe you know you've got the multicolor here you've got this beautiful watercolor um, print but you know what I am just the type of person that um, I buy what I like I buy what I love I buy what is going to make me happy and both of these two pieces when I look at them just make me feel extremely happy um, and I know that when I open up this bag and I see this beautiful wallet sitting inside um, you know what, it's gonna make me happy. So I don't care whether they match or they don't match. Um, and I'm sure a lot of you out there are also like that, you know what, and that's the best way to be. You do what's happy. If somebody's gonna take a look at you and go, mm, they clash a little, you know, that doesn't really quite match, then you know what, too bad for them. So I'm gonna wear these two with pride or use these two pieces with pride. Um, and yeah. I'm just going to enjoy.
perfect. <laughs> Oh, it's just beautiful. I'm so excited. I can't believe that this is um, my first Louis Vuitton bag. I just, I think it is absolutely wonderful. I love all of the colors. I think it's supposed to have uh, 17 colors, if I remember correctly, um, in total that have been, you know, screen printed on here and everything. Um, I love all the different hues of the pinks. There's kind of some coral colors in it, um, some mauve, some uh, you know, a little bit deeper, darker purples. Um, I do have to say that when I saw this bag online, I've, you know, I have been watching um, for this bag for, you know, quite some time. I just hadn't quite found yet the one that, um, was the one that I the one that I wanted that it was the one um, you know some of them have um, a few more pinks in them um, and not as much purple basically no two pieces in the watercolor collection are alike just because of the way the you know the canvas has been cut and the way the print is done um, you know to find two the same it's gonna probably be a little bit more difficult so when like I said when I saw this one um, it had a bit more of the purples in it purple happens to be my favorite color um, and so I just thought uh, oh, this one, it was meant to be. And like I said, it was new. Like, oh my God, I just, I couldn't pass. Um, I couldn't let it go this time. I, I've seen a couple go, come and go, and I thought, oh, you know, maybe I should have, maybe I shouldn't. But I also didn't quite have my, the money saved up and everything, and I wanted to make sure I had saved up all of my money for it. And it was just like it was meant to be. I had everything saved up. It came up, it was happened to be new, and it had the purple. So, oh, I'm just, I'm so thrilled. I'm so excited. Um, I'm so excited that my husband was able to pick it up for me and then I was able to share this video with you. So, yeah. So, um, I am going to start to do some more uh, videos more regularly. Um, so, you know, if you're interested in seeing some more things about myself, my life, um, I'm going to be doing some beauty, some fashion, um, most likely some stuff around home, houseware. I have two girls, um, two little girls, one six and a half and one's two and a half. So, um, there'll be stuff with them. Um, my six and a half year old, in fact, she is, uh, she's the one that got me kind of started in YouTube. Kind of funny story and I will tell you that at some point on another video. Um, but she definitely wants to get involved as well and be on some of these videos. So if there's anything you would love to see, just let me know in the comment section. Um, if there's any questions you have about this bag, again, just let me know. Um, and yeah, thanks for watching today, guys, and I will talk to you soon. Bye, my friends.